We're here at the 2020 Pasadena Showcase House of Design and have invited several of our favorite experts to share their tips and tricks on a variety of topics, everything from food and wine to wellness and entertaining. We hope these segments will inform, entertain, and inspire you to try something new. As we like to say, do try this at home. Today we're in session with Stela Tsiranis and Sam Ruiz, co-owners of Euro Cafe. Sam and Stela have so much knowledge of coffee, tea, and various brewing techniques. And today they're teaching us how to make a cafe quality beverage from the comfort of our homes. Let's go into the kitchen and see what's brewing. Hi everyone, I'm Stela and I'm here with Sam who is my business partner from Euro Cafe. And um, we're here today because we're going to be showing you um, some coffee hacks. So some of the most popular drinks that we offer at our cafe and how you can do it at home very easily. Um, nowadays, most people have their own uh, espresso machine. So um, we're going to be showing you some modifications and how you guys can do it from home. Um, this particular segment is going to be our European flight. And uh, we're going to start with the frappe, which is a traditional Greek style um, iced coffee beverage and um, it can be done hot or cold. We right. serve it generally cold um, over ice, uh, especially now during the summer. Um, it's, it's a very popular drink. Um, and something interesting about the frappe is it actually came about by accident um, in an international trade fair in Thessaloniki, Greece. Uh, they were trying to make a drink for children with um, chocolate milk, and a shaker that you know you use to you know make martinis and, and whatnot, and they ended up coming up with this uh, coming up with this concoction. So this was back in like the 1950s, um, and then a little bit after in, in 1979, around that time, mm -hmm. it became the official um, drink in Greece. And so to this day, people drink it all the time. Um, it is quite strong though, so if you're not a huge coffee drinker, um, go easy on it. But um, we're going to show you how to do the ice version today. So all you need is it's the Instant Coffee Nescafe and um, your cold a glass for your cold drink. You're going to take a couple of scoops and there's um, different ways that this can be done. So if you want it sweetened, you would add the sugar at this point. Um, and you can also do it, there's variations. You can add syrups. Um, you can even add some kind of liqueur if you're feeling, you know, a little adventurous. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna do the basic version of it. So uh, you pour a couple scoops of that, about an inch of cold water. And then for this, you don't use the espresso machine. This you actually need a hand mixer for. Uh, you can use a shaker. It doesn't, I don't think it comes out as good. No, with the it takes shaker. a lot of elbow, a lot of elbow grease as well. Yeah, so with this, I mean, you just let it foam, let the foam rise. And then you'll, you'll start to notice like when you can't really foam it any longer. So that's essentially what it should look like. And then the next thing you would put in is your ice. And it is important to do it in this um, order. order. Because if you put the sugar last, for example, it doesn't blend properly. You're not gonna get the, the nice um, fluid taste of it all. And then you can use regular milk, um, whole milk, which is the standard. Um, if you don't wanna use milk, you can use water or you can use an alternative. Um, but then literally all you're doing is pouring the milk in your straw and that's it. So this is something we serve at our cafe, uh, it's very popular. But one of the other drinks that Sam's gonna show you right now is our Nutella latte, which is one of my favorites also. Um, and we use real Nutella with it. Right. So this is this is the simplified home version for you guys. Right, so we, we decided to go with, um, with Nutella because being a European cafe, we really wanna embody the European feel and, and flavor. Now, when you go to Europe, if you've been lucky enough um, to go, 
you realize that they put Nutella on everything. If you're in France, they put it on crepes. If you're in Italy, they put it on croissants. So we kind of wanted to have the cafe kind of carry that same embodiment of loving Nutella. So we came up with um, the idea of making a latte with it. Now there's more and more shops who've kind of started doing that. Um, we're Orange County based, but even in LA County, we've seen um, other shops do it as well. Um, the main difference we believe is that we use a real thing. Um, the logo's not on there, but it's real Nutella. And we actually are very generous with, with the amount. You wanna cover the bottom of the cup, which is probably equivalent to about maybe like two tablespoons. Um, a lot of other places, claim to use Nutella, but they're using like this chocolate hazelnut spread you can find at Costco or World Market, which there's nothing wrong with those, but it just does not taste like Nutella. Um, after that, what you wanna do, again, this is our at-home version, so if you have a capsule machine, a Keurig, or an espresso, you can you use any coffee of your choice, whether it's decaf or um, regular. And the key here is to kind of smack the bottom of the cup a little bit to really get um, the Nutella throughout the bottom of the cup. Then what we're gonna do is get the extraction going. Um, and while that kind of starts going, it's important to understand you can do with any milk of your choice. If you are lactose intolerant, you can um, do almond, coconut, whatever. Um, our standard at home at our shop is whole milk. And the reason is just the creaminess, the more fat, the better. Now when you're eating, you're eating with your heart, not with your mind, so don't worry about the calories. <laughs> So once you kind of get that coffee in there, we let it settle a bit, then you're gonna go ahead and, and use a steam wand. Now, what you're, you're gonna probably question yourself, well, I don't have this fancy steam wand at home, right? So if you have a Keurig or an espresso machine, you most likely have one of these um, milk frothers, which is very easy to use um, and works just as fine. So for the sake of the example, we're actually gonna do it there, not in the actual espresso machine, because most people probably don't have that at home which is completely fine. The whole point of this is to be able to do this at home, all right? So we're gonna get and go ahead and get the frother going and it's as easy as just pushing the button. Now the Nutella's been sitting in the cup with the espresso. So something that's really important is to blend both, liquefy the Nutella. Um, if you skip this part, you probably are gonna get a latte that has a clump of Nutella at the bottom. You really, really wanna get them both um, to become one and then, um, once our milk is nice and ready to go, then we're gonna pour a little bit of milk and then continue the process and then finally top it off with the foam. So as you can see now, there's almost like a light brown cream color because the Nutella and the espresso have pretty much become one. And this is probably um, by far um, our most popular drink. And I think it's just because it's a classic flavor, it's Nutella. Um, our coffee, we have our own roast, but again, this is the at-home version, so whatever um, flavor you like, whether it's decaf, whether it's Keurig brand or Nespresso brand, whatever you want um, will work, as long as you are following every step. So it's nice and foamy. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour just a little bit of the liquid, and then continue to stir that to get that Nutella-like color, which is probably our best indicator that we're ready to finish the pour. And before you baristas that are watching this say that I have a horrible pour, <laughs> this uh, frother is a lot heavier than that lens can tell you, but we got the nice froth at the end. So in its simplicity, this is our most popular drink at home, which is our Nutella latte. For the final drink, um, this is our Espresso Verde Dolce. And basically it is espresso with green tea matcha, and then the, ver the Dolce is the sweet condensed milk. Generally, we make it in an eight ounce cup. There's more concentration in it, but we do offer it as a latte. So what that means is we're just adding more steamed milk to it. So, and it's kind of the same process as the Nutella or almond butter. You want to cover the bottom of the cup. Um, you want a good amount of it because coffee is strong. It's acidic. It will break some of that down. Um, and then as far as matcha, matcha about five years ago got super popular um, and it usually was more traditionally carried in like Asian shops, Asian markets, boba shops, but then it really started to hit uh, mainstream and it got so popular that full blown, you know, restaurants that the theme is just matcha, like Mr. Matcha in Orange County, LA, um, you know, there's a couple of matcha shops uh, down in San Diego and even in Florida now that the entire concept is just matcha cakes, matcha beverages and so forth. Um, we, most coffee shops, most cafes use what's called a sweet coffee house matcha, which looks sort of like this. Um, it's a balanced matcha, it's a little sweet, 
Um, but then we also have something called ceremonial matcha, which you can tell by the color looks a lot darker, a lot more intense. The one that's a lot darker has absolutely no sugar. We use the, the, the coffee house matcha because most people want a little bit of the sweetness. The coffee, which we're gonna put right into the cup with the condensed milk, will kind of balance that out. Now, as far as the milk, on this specific drink, um, we're gonna use our frother just because it's easier to mix the milk with the powder. Same thing we use as a standard a home milk. Most coffee shops do, but um, just like every other coffee shop, we offer a lot of uh, alternatives, almond, um, coconut, and um, oat as well. So you want about two tablespoons of the powder into the milk. And just like the other drinks, you can modify. You want it less sweet if you want it more sweet. Um, that's what's nice about even doing this at home is you have control over your entire your um, entire creation. So um, these can be very personalized to what you prefer. Right, and the whole idea behind this, these are sort of our best sellers. Um, but in today's you know scenario with the whole pandemic, anything that works for you can really modify the beverage. This is sort of just what has worked for us in the shop for almost 10 years now and people seem to really like it. A balance of sweet with a matcha flavor um, and then the coffee as well. And if you don't have one of these steamers at home, you can always um, mix the, the powder with the milk first and then use one of the, the frothers that most um, Nespresso machines or Keurig machines come with. Even if you just wanted to buy this without buying the actual machine, they're about $40-$50. It's worth the investment if you like um, a nice, balanced, frothy uh, cup of milk in your um, coffee beverage. And I'll say too, these, um, these at-home machines, the milk frothers, they do a really, really good job of frothing the milk how it's actually supposed to be done. Because again, that's also something that makes a difference in how the result is going to, how it's going to turn out, your end result of your drink. Um, so with this, like he said, like Sam said, you have to make sure that you froth the matcha powder with the milk, because um, that in itself will make a very big difference. Um, if though, if you don't have something that froths the milk, there is one other option, which is mixing your powder with really hot water, boiling water preferably, and then your espresso and your milk. It's okay for it to look a little like a foggy green color. That's just the combination of the matcha with the coffee when the condensed milk. You can always use a regular teapot at home with the milk mm -hmm. um, and then just use one of these guys, which is like 12 bucks at any um, store that carries coffee products. You would mix the milk with the powder first. It, the, it'll mix well with this and that way you don't have to spend the, the $40 on, on this type of mixer or you know buy a full on Nespresso machine like that one. And again, all these drinks that we made are very quick. I mean, they take, you know, maybe two to three minutes. Um, and like we have said, everything can be modified to your liking. Um, so that's pretty much it. Those are the home, the at home hacks that we have. And um, we hope you enjoyed watching. And if you want any other information, you can go to our website at myeurocafe.com.